everyone. I am Paul and he's Colin. And you're watching our channel, Mr. and Mr. Vlog. So today we thought about um, showing you how we do our morning coffee. Everybody loves their coffee and we do too. And so today we are going to make you and show you how to make, how I make my uh, coffee, coffee latte. My cafe latte slash uh, cappuccino. Cappuccino slash macchiato or whatever it is. Slash whatever you want to <laughs> put in there. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a trained barista, but I kind of love making this type of coffee. So I've laid out here in the table some of the things that I'll be needing to uh, make this coffee. So come along with me and I'll show you step by step. Okay, so I am making a, a double shot uh, espresso. Um, I filled my carafe with water. Um, you should, there's a line I have to on look it. At the band. There's the four cups because I'm doing two double shots for each of us. Uh, the water I placed just right above the metal rim on my carafe. That's to allow a little bit of uh, steam for my frothing later on. So I'm gonna pour it over my, I'm using, the, this is Crops Mini Espresso. This is model 968. There's another one called 963. The only difference is really the handle. So I'm pouring in it and want to make sure that when I tighten this really good because it's going to create pressure. Okay. So when we're doing that, we're going to take the most essential part of this coffee making is coffee. I have a basket here that I'm going to fill and a scooper. Sometimes it makes a mess, so if I do, um, I apologize. It's important to use uh, uh, very fine coffee, not just regular coffee to get the best yield. This, this is the brand that, that we like to use, that, that's most popular. <laughs> well, the, the espresso coffee is different from the regular ground coffee that you get because they're finely ground so after putting that there is actually also a marker inside to tell you how much um, coffee you have to put in and I'm pressing it tightly to create a little bit of pressure uh, when we put it in so I'm putting the bat oh, I want to make sure that this over here is clean because I will create the seal a tight seal so I'm gonna put it in the basket and we're gonna go ahead and just slide it in. No. And now I'm gonna turn the espresso on. And this usually will take about, I would say- About, about two minutes and two 40 minutes. seconds with our machine. Every yeah. machine will be a little bit different. Yeah. It, and while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna pour uh, milk. This is cold milk. I have this is not this is just a metal uh, coffee cup that we got. Um, this is not the pitcher for frothing, but it works. But it works. It's kind of the same. So I'm gonna pour. This is whole milk. Whole we found out that whole milk is works the best. Yeah. Now it's important that your milk be cold, and it's equally important that your frother cup that you're using is also cold. You'll get the best uh, frothing with that. So I poured in about uh, say about one third of a cup right here that I'm gonna split between the two of us so maybe just a little bit more just so that we have enough for the both cups. And we're gonna wait for this to uh, start uh, the coffee to when, drip. When the steam starts, it's important to to purge the uh, the wand first, so there's no moisture, no no liquid coming down uh, prior to the frothing. 
All right, we'll come back when we're ready to froth. Now I'm, I think I can start off. I have this wet towel. I'm gonna purge, the, this is called a wand, to make sure that we got all the condensations from the previous use is. So we're gonna put uh, our milk this way and then I'm gonna turn the heat down. This is called the wand on and I'm holding it up like this. Just a little below uh, where the milk is, so you, you can kind of see that I'm getting more volume now on the milk. And you're hearing the hiss, that's what you wanted to hear. And also, because we used a metal uh, cup, I can actually feel the temperature of the milk. So when it gets too much heat to handle, then we know that we've reached the temperature we wanted for the milk, and it's uh, we have to stop from there. Okay, so I think I've had good steam there. I'm gonna turn this off. And also at the same time, we're getting the final uh, drips from the coffee. I'm gonna, you have to always wipe the wand to avoid from crusting and also to let out some steam to make sure that your wand or your steaming wand doesn't clog. And it's more hygienic because otherwise your milk is gonna curdle there. So I have the froth here. It's the temperature that we like. There's a lot of more bubbles on the top. So what you do is you just kind of like tap it to remove those very big bubbles. And you swirl it like this. Look at that. That's pretty. I'm not gonna make a latte art because I have not uh, mastered that barista move. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but so I'm swirling and swirling and making sure that my coffee is good. And also we're finishing up with the coffee, our espresso drip. So we're gonna split this two double shots of espresso between two cups because there's two of us. <laughs> All right, I think we had, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute here. While I do pour for the coffee, I'm gonna turn this off. to make sure it's equal between the two of us otherwise Colin will complain that I got more than his <laughs> he did and I did okay so now we're gonna pour the uh, the steamed milk usually I've been watching baristas do it they tilt it to this way and pour it liberally but I can't do that yet because I'm splitting it between two cups there you go. I think I'm getting more foam that's the only problem with having to do it in two cups you probably won't get the same amount of froth on each of the cups but there it is our finished product if you want a little bit of toppings, like we put some cocoa powder on top to make it just prettier. Coffee served. Let's give it a try. Let's see here. See if I did okay. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. Oh my goodness. Something to pick you up in the early morning before work. Can't get any better than that. All, All right. right. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our, of our morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> of our coffee table. <laughs> yes. So uh, if you enjoyed that, please give us a, th a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment on, uh, on, our, uh, on our video. And if you haven't already, uh, please hit that subscribe button to, to Stay with us and see what other shenanigans we get into. All right, guys. 
So stay tuned for a part two where we'll get into a guilty pleasure. Okay. All right. So until next time. Good morning, coffee. And cheers. <laughs>